This video shows my build of Grant Searle's Serial Terminal. The terminal's a little tiny design made out of two uh, basically Atmega 328s, which are our meat, um, Arduino clone chips. I built it on the two cards. One of them handles the serial I.O. and the other one handles the display. Here I'm showing it running with my computer, my laptop. The laptop, when you type on the laptop, it goes to the screen of the terminal. And when you type on the keyboard for the CRT of the term for the terminal, it goes to the laptop's display. I have a little USB to serial converter. Um, so you're seeing there, my laptop's running putty and the keyboard for the laptop and the USB converter. And then there's the U PS2 keyboard that connects up to the terminal card. So I'm typing on the keyboard for the terminal card and you can see that it goes up to the display on the laptop in the putty window. So that serial port's working in that direction. You can see stuff coming out on the screen. You have to hit a control J to make the lines go down because it's just basically a dumb terminal. Uh, pretty impressive little bit of hardware. One of the cards controls the serial I.O. It talks to the PS2 keyboard and out to the serial port and then sends data eight bits at a time to the other card, to the display processor card. All the pixels and such are drawn from the display processor card and dumped into a eight bit shift register, but it's basically all done by moving things um, inside the Arduino. It's an 80 by 25 display, so it's pretty good. If you can see, it looks real decent on the screen. Um, pretty impressive design by this guy, uh, Grant Searle, I think is how you pronounce his name. Built it up into two cards. Um, he had it breadboarded out in his design, and the software just ran flawlessly. I had a little trouble because I had a jumper wrong, but other than that, pretty cool, huh? We here at Landboards want to thank you for watching our video and hope you'll consider supporting our products.